dinner and like he stood up at dinner and just like apologized. Let's get started. Um, I'm Philippe Baudet. Um, as you might have guessed from the business card and the, my name on the screen and the fact that I probably walked up to you and said, hi, I'm Philippe. Um, so I am Director of Community Advocacy at the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, we gave this a, uh, a title that's, come on in, come on in, you're fine, there you go. Um, we gave this a title that Simon has been making fun of for, for 15 minutes now, but um, we called it a gathering of functionaries basically because I, what I wanted to do was express that I'm not going to try and do a huge presentation here today. I mostly wanted to make this about you all having time to get together, meet each other, talk to each other, gather, um, ask questions of each other, or me, or James, or whatever. But I'm going to start this off actually with a quick overview of what the community advocacy team is, because some of you have asked and wondered, and some of you really couldn't care less. You just were hoping for free stuff. Um, so. Um, We'll start there, and then we'll take some time. Um, the plan for today is I'll talk a little about who I am, um, who my team is, what we can do for you, what you can do for us, and then you'll talk a lot um, amongst yourselves um, <laughs> in groups, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to leave that very free form, and to me. Um, so I'm going to try and talk as little as possible because those of you who saw me at the party last night know I'm already starting to lose my voice, which is not a good sign for Wikimania. Um, just so that I know, who in the room currently is an administrator on a wiki? Okay, good. That's almost everybody. Um, check user? Oversider? <laughs> Steward? Hey, we've got a winner. Um, something else, other than anything else? Anything else? Okay. So, good. Crack controller. Crats. We have cracks. Um, X crack. X crack. Okay. That sounds like you should be like wiped off the face of the planet or something. That's X crack. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, controllers. Do we have rollbackers? Okay. So everybody's got rolls. That's good. Um, so that gives me some idea of what we're dealing with. That's good. Um, and then most particularly, I'll tell you about a party. Um, we wait to the end for that. Eight party. Yeah. 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 Actually, I'll tell you about the party now, even though the slide is later. Um, we uh, last year in DC, we had the English Wikipedia Arbitration Committee get together, um, and my boss showed up and danced, which was interesting. Um, and uh, we decided that was so much fun that we thought we'd like to um, expand on that a little bit this year. So we have the uh, V Bar. At the um, at the hotel, which I'm just uh, the Regal Calhoun Hotel um, tonight at eight o'clock. I can't promise that there will be free drinks, there will be free drinks. Um, but if you'd like to show up uh, and and spend some time getting to talk to other functionaries, that would be a good opportunity to do it. Um, but it's reserved for us, and we've got some space down there, and there may be drinks. Um, refreshments. Maybe. Yeah, there will be uh, refreshing beverages. <laughs> So I am the director of community advocacy. I am evidently a small team of dedicated community advocates. Uh, I lead a small team of dedicated community advocates. What that means is um, I have a group of people whose role it is to reach out to people in the community. Hi, Sydney. Yes. There you go. Um, I, I have a small team of people whose role it is to reach out to the communities, to know what's going on in the communities so that people like me and my boss, Jeff and Sue, are not um, surprised when something happens. Um, we're still occasionally surprised, but uh, it's this is an attempt for us to know people outside of the English Wikipedia community, um, which is really important to the foundation this year in particular. We really started to, to focus on, hey, come on in. Um, we started to focus on people who are outside of the English Wikipedia community and getting to know uh, them, you, Gordon. Hey. Um, there you go. Oh, cool. Uh, freebies. So uh, and, and so this is the continuation of that. My team looks like this. Um, Jeff Brigham is my boss. He's our general counsel. James is over in the corner. Uh, Jan Eisfels is in Germany. Um, he's not here. But I was really pleased that we could hire somebody who would be willing to focus um, on the German wikis for us. That's me uh, down in the bottom left, whatever that, yeah, left. Left hand makes an L. Um, Maggie Dennis in the center there. And the newest member of our team is Anna Koval, who is being kissed by two llamas. For some reason, I do not understand. Um, but there she is. And she joined us just two weeks ago. Um, 
Of those people, um, James and Jeff and Anna and I are in San Francisco. Jan and Maggie are not in San Francisco. So um, if you uh, are in Germany, you know how to reach Jan, I hope. If not, you know, you can go to our office. Um, what do we do? We grow our knowledge of the non-English speaking communities, particularly. Um, our goal is to find and learn from top Wikipedia, top Wikimedians worldwide, um, to find ways to grow and amplify the voice of the community. So if we have somebody on the um, Bullapuck Wiki who is making a, a good point that's not getting heard, um, or has a request for um, some sort of feature that we can help provide, um, our role is to make sure that that request gets heard. Um, we also coordinate strategic change management. That's a new role we've taken on. Um, this is the one that will most likely get rotten fruit slung at me, so I will explain what that means. Strategic change management means that we are on any project that has major strategic implications for the projects, such as visual editor. <laughs> I, nobody threw anything, that's good. Uh, such as visual editor, our job is to attempt to reach out to the communities and let you know that it's coming so that nobody is taken by surprise when it happens. We don't design it, we don't build it, we just tell you it's coming. And then we help take your, um, take your feedback requests and enhancement requests and get them um, back to the team that's working on it. In order to do that in visual editor, in particular, we added a bunch of people. So um, that, my permanent team is on the left there. We also picked up a few others. Um, some of these are already employees of the foundation, Oliver and Guillaume. You're um, welcome. Thank you, Sumina. <laughs> uh, Sumina is Guillaume's uh, permanent manager, and she has kindly loaned him to us for this project, um, for which I think I owe her drinks. Um, and that, those people are helping us reach out to all the other communities in addition to the ones um, that we were already talking to. So, for instance, Patrick and Keegan, between them, have made contact with um, key people on 78 wikis that we didn't know. Um, so we're starting to create, create lists of people that we know how to get in contact with, so we can say things like, hey, your editing interface that you know and love, guess what? It's about to change. Um, most importantly, that provides a conduit for people on those wikis to talk back to us and to tell us what's working and what's not working. Um, so that's the idea there. Erica is um, focusing on the Italian wiki. <coughs> Sherry is focusing on English Wikipedia. I'm, uh, I was actually, I had this sense of, um, sense of, uh, like we were really doing something major, accomplishment, yesterday, when I looked at somebody and said, we have less than one full-time person focused on the English Wikipedia for my team right now. Less than one. Everybody else is focused on other wikis. That's a big deal. If you, uh, if you know the history of the foundation, you know that it, it has primarily been focused on the English Wikipedia because that was the biggest project. I'm very proud of the fact that out of all of these people, we have less than one focused on the English Wikipedia. Everybody else is focused on the other wikis. So that's a big deal to me. I hope it's a big deal to you. Um, for those of you from the English Wikipedia, sorry. Um, <laughs> what you can do for us is uh, keep in touch. Tell us what's going on on your wikis. Um, you all have my business card. If you don't, catch me afterwards. I really care about what's happening on um, the other wikis. I read all of my mail. I do not respond to all of my mail because I'm really bad at that. I won't make any excuses. Um, but I read it all. So please do um, tell me what's going on. Tell me if there's something we can do to help you out. If there is, we will try to. Uh, please introduce us to people on your wikis. If there's somebody that um, <coughs> is doing an amazing job that we need to know about, let me know. I have control of a small budget um, for sending out free stuff, um, and we're getting pretty good at doing that. Um, so if there's somebody on one of your wikis that's doing something that's just really astronomical good that, that we need to recognize, the foundation <coughs> is happy to send out free stuff. Um, we will send out t-shirts, pins, whatever. Um, it sometimes takes us a while to get it around the world, um, but we, we take a solid shot at it. <coughs> uh, let us know what you're doing. Let us know about challenges, problems, and successes. If Visual Editor is deployed to your wiki, um, there is a visual editor drop-in lounge where you can do exactly that. N112, I believe, is the room it's in. Um, and I'll be there um, for much of the time. Drop in and tell us what works and what doesn't work. If it's not deployed to your wiki, drop in and tell us what you're scared of. Um, and we will point and laugh. Um, what we can do for you is make introductions. If uh, 
and that can take the form of a presentation like this where I hope you're going to meet people who have roles similar to yours on other wikis. Um, or it could be if you come to me and say, hey, we're creating an arbitration committee and we don't know how to even start. Hi, Alice. Hi. Um, if you come to me and say, hey, we're creating an arbitration committee and we don't even know how to start on that, I can put you in touch with someone like Corin or, or um, Risper, um, wait, Risper, Kirill. or Kirill, um, and say, we can help you with that. Here you go, Alice. Um, and, and we will make some connections and get you in touch with people who, so that we can learn from each other. We can listen. Sometimes that's all you, you need, is just for somebody who will listen to you and um, tell you that other projects have done this before, it's not as bad as you think it is, or, holy shit, yeah, it's every bit as bad as you think it is. Um, or maybe you don't want to do it that way. Um, so we can listen, we can provide some support, we can let you know what's coming up from the WMF, we can warn you of things like the visual editor are headed your way. Um, and we can make suggestions for you. Um, I've been on the wikis now for, um, come on in. I've been on the wikis now for eight years. I've been an employee at the foundation off and on for five, but more on than off for four of those five. Um, I had a contract job at the beginning of it, there you go. Um, and uh, James has been around for almost as long. Um, we can tell you what we think might happen if you try something. Um, we're frequently wrong, but we try. Um, what we can't do for you, we can't make all your problems go away. Um, we can't fix anything technical. You don't want me playing with technical things on your wikis. That's a mm -hmm. bad idea. We can help you with that. Yeah, Suma can help, tell you, help you with that. We can't tell you what to do about content issues because the Wikimedia Foundation does not engage in content issues. And I cannot buy you a pony. Oh. Uh, I know. I know. I know that's a huge disappointment for you. Um, but as I said, what we can do is connect you to other people who can help you. Um, we can help you find resources. And sometimes we can send out free stuff. Um, with that in mind, I, I left this kind of loose. I told you what I wanted to do here was not have me standing in front of a room talking at you for 45 minutes. Um, I, what I wanted to do was have the opportunity for you to get to know each other, to know what's going on, um, maybe talk about some tools that you use. For instance, if you're a Czech user, maybe the German Wikipedia has great Czech user tools that the English Wikipedia doesn't. Or um, oversiders, you know, maybe there's something that you can talk about in groups that you can talk about policy questions or things like that. Um, I thought we could do that, or we could do Q&A if you have questions for us um, that I can dodge artfully and pass to Alice. That would be fine too. Um, I want to leave this very loose. If you just want to get to know each other and talk to each other for a few minutes, that's fine too. Um, one thing I would, would very much like though is if you left the room having met one person you didn't know before on another wiki. Um, so I leave it up to you. Does anybody have a preference on how they would like to kill a few minutes while we talk, uh, while you talk amongst yourselves? Do you have a structure in mind? Because if not, I'm going to pick one. And that will be pretty ugly. Mm -hmm. We yeah. trust you. Mm -hmm. I said we trust you. That's a dumb move. <laughs> <laughs> OK, sorry. That, that makes more sense. <laughs> well, I, I know that that there are some people in the room who aren't check users, oversiders, mm -hmm. stewards, whatever, and mm -hmm. maybe they have some questions for us. That's a that's a great that's a great idea. Um, questions for each other is a good yeah. good way to do it. Does anybody have questions for each other? Yeah. You mentioned that uh, some wikis have different check user privileges than other wikis. What? Different check user tools. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't know anything about this. I'm curious. What might be the difference in these user rights on different wikis? So what I was referring to actually is is um, less about the user right and more about the tools they use to inform how they do their job. Um, so <laughs> external tools. Um, yeah. Can somebody talk about what external tools English Wikipedia might have that help check users? Uh, some of the tools that we use on English Wikipedia are um, who is and many many Czech users have their own little stash of, of links that we'll use uh, that they feel give the best resources who is uh, which will tell us where the uh, IP comes from uh, resources to analyze um, user agent strings uh, similarly uh, some, there are some uh, 
geolocation tools that really are very useful and, and in some cases can drill down practically to the to the block or even sometimes the, the building that an IP comes from. And there are some that are crap. And there are some that are absolute garbage and strangely enough they seem to be the default ones. <laughs> Yeah. One of the things Rister mentioned are mostly third-party tools. We mm -hmm. do have a number of tools that were written by Czech users for Czech users. Uh, things yeah. like um, the uh, range block calculator, for those who aren't uh, all that familiar with how IP is split. Uh, things like, um, well, it's no longer relevant, but there was a, a, a tool to detect um, um, auto blocks so that a check user could double check that the reason why the person was autoblocked was really an accident, a side effect and not really um, um, a, a direct result of the same person returning. Um, and, and I think that there's a number of tools being written right now on, in tool labs um, to do uh, data aggregation and, and kind of like being able to help in the cases where there are IP ranges, there are some ISPs who basically mix everything up. I mean, I'm thinking uh, uh, things like uh, BT, uh, British Telecom, which basically allocates absolutely everyone out of one big pool, uh, or almost, except maybe uh, <coughs> Metropolitan London. And uh, trying to do check user in there is uh, a nightmare. And there are some people who are currently writing tools that kind of like track patterns in order to make more useful the information that we get from the logs. So that th those are things that exist that are used by the people in the English Wikipedia. Um, I've heard that uh, the Deutsche Wikipedia has some tools that their Czech users have written, but I'm not aware of them. That, that's one of the things that it would be nice to share uh, between the different groups, because we rarely talk with each other, except when to re re for reporting spam bots. Somebody from German Wiki want to talk about what tools you have for a Czech user? Uh, <laughs> there are at least no German check users here inside. No German check users, uh, okay. And I don't think whether there are any here at the conference. Okay. Um, well then I tell you what, what I will do is I will get in touch with German check users, yeah. find out what tools they have, and um, see if we can get this but, sent out and passed around some. But if they are, for example, not using the check user wiki or the check user mailing list, um, they just talk to each other uh, how to be, uh, deal with uh, Check user requests, and you know, but they are also using geolocating tools, and so I think almost the same um, as on English Wikipedia or on, uh, cross wiki check user. Yeah, I mean there are some tools I, that you just yeah. can't live without if you're a check user. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, you're sure, so you know when you do check user stuff that you have to use some sort of tools to and I'm I used to be steward and I'm I'm just a check user lolly check user. Um, and you know you have to use who who is and I'm from Serbia and uh, and working on Serbian Wikipedia and you know um, most of our major ISPs have something like British Telecom so uh, it's a bit hard for us because there's no geolocation whatsoever. <laughs> um, and Except for small ISPs who are, you know, town-based. Um, so it's a bit more daunting and, you know, there are some tools like, for example, uh, user string tools and, you know, uh, are, but, you know, mostly it's just common sense and, you know, trying to, to um, make sense of it. One of the big things that surprises people about the check user tool, I think, is how little of it is technically based. A lot of the time, you're, you're really looking at editing patterns and behavior and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, and that's where you make a lot of the decisions. And um, I know that, that surprised me when I started paying a lot more attention to what check users were doing. Um, there is no magical technical super bullet. Yeah, that's one of the, that's another set of tools that uh, most check users, people who spend a lot of time doing check users, especially the SOC investigations use, is uh, tools that will it show the inter, inter, yeah. interweaving of uh, edits by two or three different accounts or multiple accounts. You know how many you know have all six of these accounts edited this particular article, and are they you know helping? I, with actually, that? one of Serbian Czech users uh, is actually developing a tool for his master thesis uh, based on only public information mm -hmm. uh, to uh, try to analyze the edit patterns and you know. Uh, the interweaving of, of certain users, you know, trying to find 
uh, some things that could aid check users in their uh, in their search or you know checks. So that could prove useful, but we'll see. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. Be neat. Um, you may have heard some rumblings that the, the foundation is looking at the check user tool, um, and uh, I will confirm those rumblings are true. We are looking at the check user tool right now um, to see if there are ways that we can make it uh, more useful. Um, I see if there are ways that we can incorporate some external tools, um, either by calling their APIs or rebuilding some of the functionality, or just finding ways to generally um, uh, address the, the tool itself, because as you may know, it essentially hasn't changed much since it was rolled out. Um, and so our hope is that we can find some ways to integrate some of the external tools into it um, and make it a little easier for you. Um, so James is coordinating setting up some interviews with people, um, and I know several of you who are in this room, I think, participated in those interviews um, with one of our outside contractors who's um, stepping back and taking a very holistic view of the tool from the ground up and saying, what does it do well, what doesn't it do well, how can we make your lives easier? Um, and just out of you know my sheer sense of sick fun, what can we do to make your lives more difficult? Um, but we really won't do that on purpose, I promise. Um, but if you have ideas for things that could be included in a new rewrite of the check user tool, I would strongly encourage you to talk to James um, because now is the time um, while we're thinking about it from the ground up. Yeah. I'm actually interested in one check user tool. I'm interested in global check user. Global check user. Yeah. 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 It, we all are. Yeah. <laughs> global check user, like, it, it's an interesting, for those who know MediaWiki itself, the, the entire underlying structure is designed to essentially make anything global impossible. Um, and, and that doesn't mean we don't want to do it. And, and But f also find a way to to make it work, be as private as possible, be as secure as possible, um, which is much, much, much easier said than done. Um, but that is being actively worked on. It is. We, we, yeah. we, 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 we're actively, actively writing it and trying to work on it. And that's, we, we don't want to then, like at the moment we're trying to bring that and I think use it as sort of one of the inputs into this looking at the whole, the whole tool, because we don't want to also make a random extra tool that will be sitting out on the, on the side. Um, as we look at things like the unification of accounts, stuff like that, we, it'll make a lot of these things easier and a lot, a lot better. Um, but we also have to work a lot in performance. Right now, running a check user and getting it globally um, will be impossible for many people. The so service, so hmm? it doesn't exist. Does it, does it, will exist? It, it will live as part of the equation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to come back to your question, while I think that um, the tools check users use are almost the same on all projects, um, the way how they interpret the uh, policy is quite different. Mm -hmm. um, yes, that's a good point. Uh, I think. Um, you're currently working on rewriting the privacy policy. Yeah. Is it related to check user tools, or um, uh, could you tell us something about it? I can tell you a little bit about it. Um, I wish Michelle were here to tell you more about it. Um, and Michelle Paulson, who is one of our staff attorneys, is um, wandering around. Huh? I think she has a session later about it. Though. I think she does have a session on privacy policy there. But she's wandering around some, and if you see her, corner her, and, and ask her, she will be glad to tell you everything about the privacy policy that she's thinking about. Um, we are very close to kicking off a comment phase on that. Um, yeah, the current plan is September 1st. September 1st. Which will include, because at the same time, obviously, as we're doing the privacy policy, it's a new access to private data. We have to look at everything as a whole. Um, yeah, but so. getting back to the actual question. Yeah. What can we tell you about it? <laughs> um, very little, because it's we're, we're still in a draft period. This is the time to inform it. Um, well, what are you thinking about? Uh, what is being... I what know. is being thought about? Um, I think on a daily basis, it won't have massive changes for how you do your work um, from a privacy perspective. Um, there will be changes to things like... Um, how, for instance, we accept identification for the access to non-public data. Um, but from a privacy policy, the, the main thing is in, in uh, figuring out where some of the holes were in the privacy policy before and writing the new one to match 
what current standards are or what we think current standards are. Uh, it's not about massive changes to the privacy policy. It's about documenting where we actually are and what we actually do. And then also, um, you know, laying out things like, this is what we can use cookies for. This is what we can't use cookies for. Um, so it's, it's a lot of, um, a lot of focus on, on documenting what the current state actually is on things that were not originally envisioned when the first privacy policy was written. Um, so don't be um, scared of major massive changes there because I don't think there actually are any in, in the last iteration I saw. Yeah? But if you document um, the current status, mm -hmm. uh, and I said that we have different status in different wikis, mm -hmm. for example, um, on Meta and other wikis, mm -hmm. um, uh, Check users are uh, fishing for spam words, for example, mm -hmm. or skews. And another wiki, since uh, they only rely on uh, edit patterns and only use check user to confirm uh, something, something that most people already know from the edit patterns. So the privacy policy won't go into that much detail. It won't tell you how to do your job. Um, what it will do is it will lay out what we believe are core principles of the movement as far as privacy. Um, the interpretation of that continues to remain with the wikis in concert with our legal department. So um, we won't be saying, for instance, here are the six situations under which you can invoke the check user tool. Um, what we will be saying is the check user tool is valuable um, and and. This is the um, you know this is the way that we hope it's used, um, but we won't be getting into prescriptive things about when you can and can't use it. Um, that's really not. I mean, particular issues with that should probably be addressed with the legal team. But I will say that again, the comment period opens September first, and I hope that you will engage with that because this is an, a, a good opportunity to influence the thinking of the legal team as they're going. Uh, in terms of like reaching out to other communities, mm -hmm. like, do we even really, like, how well do we really understand how it's being used on all the wikis? I mean, do we, I mean, has anybody ever really studied, like, you know, like you mentioned the difference in policy, like we know that for the really big ones, but do we, I mean, do we know what the policies are on all the wikis? We know, uh, we think we know what the policies are. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whether um, the behavior matches the policy is something right. we don't. Right. Uh, and that's an area that I hope my team can um, help with, frankly. Right, right. I, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, we just, we, we, we aren't there yet. I, I think it's interesting, between check user and oversight, I think there's actually a big difference there. So check user, we, I think we, we're not perfect, but we have a relatively good idea of what happens. Um, on most wikis, there's people who, who talk back and forth, we have the check user mailing lists, the wikis, some, some groups decide, decide not to use those, but they're pretty obvious and public about what they're doing. We have a relatively large policy about it. Um, oversighters frequently, like the, the suppression tool has very different policies on different, on different wikis, and there's not a whole lot of that interplay, and so we have a much less understanding of exactly when they're used and when they're not. Yeah. Uh, there are more check yeah, yeah. users than an oversight by yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. And, and they're much more organized between them set amongst each other. The, the, the oversight groups are much more wiki focused, um, while the check users, especially because of cross wiki vandalism and abuse, um, talk back and forth much more frequently. So we have a much better chance to, to learn what they're actually doing on their individual wikis. Yeah. To come back to Sydney's question, uh, on MetaWiki, there's a page called check user policy slash local policies where, uh, where uh, most of the um, larger wikis have stated how they deal with uh, uh, check their check user tools linked to check user policies, etc. Yeah. If you want to read more. Yeah. Um, I know that we try, um, for the foundation protector, we do try to respect local policy, for instance, when we do check users. Um, if I go to a, a um, go to a website because we have a legal subpoena or something that requires that I do a check user, um, and I see that there is a local policy uh, saying that we have to disclose it, for instance, we try to disclose. Uh, it, wherever possible, we will follow the local policies. There may be times when we're bound by silence or something like that legally, um, but um, we, we try to follow the local policies too. 
how often does it happen that you have to check user on a non English Wikipedia? Rarely. Very rarely. Very rarely. Very, very rarely. Um, and of course, it'll show up in the check user log if we did. Um, we don't run any back end check users or anything that, that aren't logged. Um, mostly because they don't trust me with those tools, and that's probably why. Um, I'll break something. Um, but, uh, you know, very, very rarely that we would we would run a, a check user on a non-English wiki. Very rarely that we run one on an English wiki, frankly. Um, I bet I could count on one hand the number that I've run in the last six months. On, on an English wiki, yeah. Maybe two hands. <laughs> yeah, two hands, actually. <laughs> I'd stop and think there. Um, we will also, by the way, if you if you run one and you're having trouble interpreting the results for whatever reason, um, we're happy to uh, to come in and give you a second set of eyes if you need it. Uh, other questions? So if I include the global wikis, if I understood, uh, it depends on uh, the two implementation. Yeah? Um, it doesn't it doesn't depend completely on that, but that will help, and that is. Setting up some of the back end stuff so that will assist. What about the tool? When you it's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Soul is, um, it's coming. Um, single user login finalization is coming. Um, it should have been here by now. <laughs> um, I will, yeah, and I wish I could give you more specifically. Um, it was supposed to be here literally by now, uh, but. James Forster, who is the program manager for that, is also the program manager for the visual editor. And as you might guess, his attention got focused uh, and, and, and got diverted slightly. Um, but we do have um, somebody who's got all the scripts ready to go on that. It's just a matter of we need to do appropriate notifications to people that their, uh, their, their username is going to be renamed. Um, and people tend to be a little sensitive about some of that, so we want to give them enough heads up. Um, and then you know, hit the button and say go, and pray that we don't knock the wiki over. And <laughs> don't don't get the idea that they're completely dependent on each other. It's like my guess is that the bubble check user comes after soul finalization. But if through through the magic of things that are organized, it's ready beforehand, and we will get ready beforehand. Then just help out <coughs> some, of the, uh, some yeah. of the issues that we have. The session well. tomorrow at two p.m. about uh, global administration tools and yeah. and global 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 tools. Yeah. Uh, Marius, I have uh, help here. Yep. If you're interested in this topic, please. Um, yes. And that's your, your chance to have um, Jim Forrester, who, as I said, is the program manager, um, answer your questions directly. And um, and uh, he's happy to dispose of any rotten fruit that you have for you. Uh, if you'd like to throw it his general direction, um, he'll take care of that for you. Um, other questions? Yeah. Um, talked about how you help us, uh, us tech functionaries. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I remember, um, there's was built a legal team to support functionaries when they have uh, legal problems. Did that actually happen? Yeah. Have you had requests? Yes. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, the uh, Legal Defense Fund um, is something really new that the foundation was able to do in the last year, and I'm, I'm I'm really excited about it. If, in the course of doing functionary work, um, you get yourself sued, um, and you call us, we may be able to help. Um, we have some money set aside that the board has authorized for that, um, and we have some lawyers who are getting really, really good at calling local police and saying, no, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree, please let him out of jail. Um, and we, they're really good at at helping local authorities to understand what's going on. Um, and we, if worse comes to worse, um, and you manage to get yourself sued for over check user you did, um, we're not gonna leave you flounder. Um, we have had some requests for help under that. Um, I don't think we've, we've actually in the end had to spend, I, can't, I don't think we've had to spend any money from that fund yet for that. Um, yeah, James, have we had any legal defense fund ones come up? From actual fun yeah. fun functionaries? Yeah, from functionaries. No, 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 no. I don't think so. The closest we had yeah. was the French issue. The French issue, yeah. And down in Brazil. 
but we do have um, we do have some money that's available for us to help defend functionaries. We're not going to leave you hanging. Um, all you need to do is let us know that something's going on, and we'll we'll get involved. Um, Jeff Brigham, my boss, feels really strongly that that we need to um, we need to support you in the work that you're doing. Um, now, if you do something crazy and you go out on your own, out on a limb, and you violate every policy known to man, we maybe have less support to you. Um, <laughs> but if you're following the rules and and somebody's just being a jerk about getting check user, we're gonna help. Yeah. Um, let me get sharp first. Yeah. Uh, you saying about the fund? Mm -hmm. I know about the case in Brazil. I couldn't mm -hmm. yep. send you a mail about yep. that. Yep. And that doesn't even get fun. That that uh, first of all, there was actually uh, some help that did get. Yeah, I know yeah. that he got yeah. help. And yeah. I'm not saying that he didn't yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. And we um yeah he he didn't get um, cash payout because we were able to provide uh, his attorney with some some support. Oh. Yeah. Um, we don't we don't pay out cash directly. What we do is we fund the yeah. defense. Yeah. Yeah. And we were able to provide for um, his attorney to get some support, and we did some um, background legal research that was helpful for the attorney in that case, and and that went away. Um, but yes, the, that one was one that, that came up just as we were getting that fund going. Yeah, he yep. was incredibly worried about like, yeah. sending mail like, and dates. Yep, and we um, that was a that was an interesting case. Um, Very fun. Yeah, yeah. fun is that's one word for it. Yeah, so, it's <laughs> going to happen again because the guy didn't even let him let him go. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Mm. I was afraid of that. Yeah, um, actually touch base with me later in because I'd like an update on that. And see if I can get one of our attorneys to, to I think, No, but that's the, the question is not with that guy. Mm -hmm. That guy actually got away. Yeah. He got the case that the, the minister who actually mm -hmm. started it all, he didn't let it go. So he was trying to find someone else. To, He's looking for somebody else? Yeah. Yeah. So. Great. Fun. Somehow things will work better there. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. That'll be good. I'll warn Jeff that's coming. <laughs> um, yes. Could you give example cases or just describe what under what circumstances somebody might get a legal threat as a result of you they're using check user tools? Well, you know, the, the truth is before we set up the fund, to our knowledge, it had never happened. Yeah, um, now it's happening often. No, not often. We still we have the money there and it's ready to go. But um, we hadn't had requests to fund anything like that. Now, it may be happening, and we just don't know about it. Or it may be that it happened and it got dealt with another way. Um, but we had a request um, from, uh, actually, it originated in conversations with the English Wikipedia's Arbitration Committee um, that, that we consider finding ways to support functionaries financially in case they got sued. Um, and so we did. Can you give me an example of somebody who did something and tell me what they did? I'm going to let Corin talk to that, actually, because he was yeah, in the, the real the real reason why uh, when uh, it, it was actually me and Brad New York Brad who went and met with Salim uh, in November two thousand eleven and the primary reason why we brought the issue was not because we were aware of anyone having been sued uh, but because we were aware of numerous cases where people, where functionaries were being threatened with being sued mm -hmm. um, and that was used as a weapon in order to intimidate. Uh, check users and functionary, other functionaries from doing their job because they were scared, of course, that, well, if I'm a student in the middle of nowhere, I'm a student, I'm a college student, I can't afford to, uh, to have a fan. And uh, in, in that way, people didn't actually need to sue the functionaries in order to intimate, to, to have their way. Sim the, simply the threat of suing was sufficient to cause damage. Um, and, and setting up a way, a safety net, uh, behind the functionaries, making sure that um, somebody who just blusters around and says, I'm going to sue you all, you don't need to worry that you're ruined, that you're going to lose all your college money because you're going to be sued and you don't have the money to defend yourself, is what was needed. Um, I'm not aware of any case where anyone, where it went at, to the point where filings were made in a court of law. I do know that threatening gestures were made, threatening letters having been, uh, having been sent. Um, it never got to the point where it reached a court of law, but even then, just um, if you know about uh, how the law works in the United States, just hiring an attorney in case you actually end up in a court of law is an expensive proposition. And the fact that the indemnization possibility exists 
uh, is a great relief for most of the functionaries, for the people we've talked to, and, and for the, um, um, for, it's more like of an, insur an insurance than actually palliative measures. I don't think that it's likely that anyone is actually going to ever end up in court over a check user or an oversight. It doesn't mean that the threat isn't there and that we shouldn't do something about it. And I think that was a convincing argument for Jeff, and I presume Philippe felt the same way as well. I'm, I'm sorry, I still don't understand. Tell me, the, sir, tell me what the check user does, and then tell me what kind of person it is that's threatening the check user. Um, the, the, uh, I, I Block, check. Blocking, just simply yes. blocking somebody saying it's a yes. check user block and, say, and then and being threatened. A lot of people are very sensitive about the fact that you yeah. may know where they work. Yeah. Um, Various things along those lines. Do something. Okay. I mean, they don't think they're humiliated, embarrassed, and they're happy. I'm going to use poorly. an example. Uh, yeah. That's so nice. Uh, the other arbitrators here will know what I'm talking about. I can't name names, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but there was at least one prominent uh, scientist okay. uh, who was, suck uh, was sucking, who was using socks in order to try and win debates. Okay. Um, once that was found out by um, 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 check users, of course, we blocked the socks. Okay. We also blocked the primary account. Okay. The problem yeah, is that the primary true. account was known to be that scientist, okay. and he felt that this was an, a serious attack on his reputation mm -hmm. as in academia, mm -hmm. and he started threatening legal action in order to clear his name, okay. saying that we had no right to check users and things like that. Um, uh, of course, I, I feel, and I, legal at the time felt that there was no legal standing, mm -hmm. because he breached our terms of use. Mm -hmm. But um, the fact that the threat existed was enough that most of our check users didn't want to be the one doing the checks. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's a problem. That's something that needs to be guarded against. Okay. And are all the cases something like this, someone being outed? They're sort of like that. Yeah, that's yeah. my yeah. timer. People get humiliated. I mean, feel like, personally feeling humiliated and reacting very poorly with something to say. Yeah, and I, th I think yeah. the other, you know, from the oversight end of things, the threat is mainly when a request to oversight or suppress edits has been refused. Mm -hmm. So that's my timer. Um, yep. It was telling me I'm out of time. But what I do want to say is um, I will be around the conference for the rest of the time. If you have <laughs> further questions, um, feel free to find me, find James. Uh, Michelle Paulson, who's um, the attorney that we work with most closely on these things, is around as well. My boss, Jeff. Um, I, you could ask. Anybody else who's in this room, if you have questions about these things, and if all else fails, ask Alice. She'll make something up. And we should we should be at the Regal Club. And yes, the uh, last plug for the Regal Calhoun um, tonight, 8 p.m. at V Bar, which is on the ground floor. There may be delicious, refreshing beverages. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And, and do, does everyone in this room know about where they can communicate online about all these issues as well? Worst case, you can send things to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, sharing best practices with each other, that kind of stuff. Check what we have. Check use the wiki oversiders. Mm -hmm. Talk amongst yourselves, and you can get in touch with us. And we have we now have a global functionaries list that's being set up. So. Yeah. Okay, not just yeah. one for the English which Right, be global. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Being set up. Okay. Yeah. It's in the process of being set up currently. Okay, thanks. Uh, I turn you over to Odd, who Thank is you. going to talk to uh, Thank you, Philippe. Uh -huh. Thanks. Um, Odd is talking about friendly spaces online, yes? Okay. Hello. That's my idea. <laughs> the full name is adopting friendly space policy. What's wrong? Now, we're away. Yeah, I guess. Uh, my laptop. It's in the left part. Yes, my laptop. Some slides, they're not important.